So first step, let's create a couple of lines on the Istria side. As you can see, I have already created two lines. Now we need to fill out these two lines. Uh, let's click this line and this line. You can put any number of radius and number of segment and click OK. Now let's measure this segment because uh, we need to divide the previous two lines with this measurement. Okay, now select this line and right click and choose divide. Now type send B1 and enter. Okay, now let's divide the other line. So select it and right click and choose divide. Okay, 81 is enough. So type 81 and enter. Okay, now select all these lines and create groove from this. Now let's copy this groove uh, to the downside and place it uh, right at this point. Now let's use the Kavilo command. Select this groove and select this groove and click on confirm. Now let's put in a segment. You can type any number of segment you want. But you have to be careful if the number of segment is too much, uh, the, your computer might slow down. But we will get a smooth and perfect result. It's up to you. Okay, click on empty space. Now let's get into this group and select all and right click on it and choose reverse. Now we need to measure the previous land. So get into this group and select all. Now let's go to the entity info. Okay, here our land is 37.68 unit. Now let's measure the vertical line. Use the tape measure tool. Click this endpoint and click this endpoint. Okay, it is 12.8 unit. Now we need to create a rectangle face from this measurement. Let's draw a line which is 37.68 unit. And let's draw one more line in the vertical direction which is 12.8 unit. Now let's close the loop to make the rectangle surface. Okay, now select this rectangle and right click and choose make groove. Now let's use the line command. Let's click this endpoint of groove. And uh, this endpoint of groove, you have to make sure the line are connect with the endpoint of groove. Okay, let's delete this curve. We don't need it anymore. Use the line command, click this endpoint and click this endpoint. Uh, you have to double check it. Now select this two line and make group from this. Okay, we have three group. Uh, this group and this group and this group. Now right click on this, choose make group. Now we have a group that contain a surface group, a line group and target face group. You have to make sure that this group contain all these three group. Now we need to check that this surface is valid to use the florify command. So in order to do that, first select this group which contain three group and go to extension and here click on florify and choose impose gray. Now if all the gray from the target faces appear on this surface, then this surface is valid to use the florify command. So as you can see, all the gray has appeared on this surface. Now we need to create a design or 3D pattern on this surface, which I have already done it. To save the time, let me show you it. So as you can see, I have created this 3D design on this surface and I also created a group from this 3D pattern. Now we have two groups, uh, one group which contain 3D pattern and one group which contain rectangle group, line group and target face group. Now select this two group and go to the extension and choose Florify and click on this Florify. Okay, as you can see, we got the result that we went on the target face. Now let's delete all the other geometry. Now let's use the GHS power bar to smooth the geometry. Select this groove and click on ES and smooth run. Okay, we got the result that we want. Okay, that's all guys. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe my channel.